Okay, welcome back to problem solving sessions. We're just going to be doing equivalent resistance uh, circuits and then uh, re resolving them down to a single resistance. Uh, these are going to be simulated later on with a, uh, a spice circuit. So um, a lot of times when you're looking at these things, you might see some weird topologies, but they, they all resolve to the same result. Um, you're going to be connecting certain kinds of nodes to other kinds of nodes, and they're going to be the the composition of a series in resistance a series or or parallel um, topology um, but there's certain shapes that that seem to occur more often uh, this is called the t topology so we have a resistance a resistance and then one uh, which goes down and then you have a, a pi topology which is where you have a basically a parallel so if you're if you're looking at it in forms of uh, of those motifs you have a t and then you have a pi and then you have um, another pi so this is going to end up you know, once you have resolved these uh, these resistance networks, it's going to create um, uh, another version of that. So uh, here we go. We're going to look at um, we're going to look at the other line. You know, the easiest portion of it first. This four K four ohm and eight ohm. Um, of course, I said K, but the the scale is in normal ohm. So we're going to look at four ohms and eight ohms, and we're going to you know just label these R one. We're going to call this R two, R three. You know, and our four. Let me come back up here. Our five, and our six. Okay, that makes it a little bit easier. And then our equivalent resistances are going to be in R A, B, C, D, that kind of indexing system. So R A is going to be equal to R five plus R six, which is equal to four ohms plus eight ohms. I'm going to stop drawing the ohms after this, just because it, it just makes it easier. Uh, so we have 12 ohms there. Okay, cool. So now we have an equivalent series, re equivalent resistance of 12 ohms there. And uh, for, for the sake of this problem, we're going to just delete them, right? Because it's just going to make it a little bit easier. So now this, this is my equivalent resistance here, RA. Always include, oops, always include the reference designator. Very important. Every little element has a name. And the more names you have, the easier that is to to solve. Uh, so we have now we're going to look at this section here. These are in parallel with each other, so we're going to call this R B is equal to R three plus R four, and that is going to be six ohms. Oops, I'm sorry, I said plus, but it's been parallel. Six ohms in parallel with six ohms, which ordinarily would be R three times R four over R3 plus R4, but because these are the same value, you can say that it's R3 over two, or it's R4 over two. So that ends up working out. And the reason that works out is you have six times six, okay, so that's what, 36, and then you have um, then you have six plus six, and that's 12, so 36 divided by 12 is gonna end up being three, which is the same as six over two, which is three. So you have six divided by three, and that's, you know, two ohms. I'm sorry, divided by two. Should have been two here. I'm making a lot of mistakes today. Let's just erase that, right? Always go back. Three ohms. <clears throat> Good. Put the unit there. Okay, so now we can delete these. And we have that. Good. Okay, we have three ohms here. We're gonna call this what, RB? Yeah, RB and three ohms. Okay, so then now we have a series combination here and that's gonna be six ohms. So this is RC is equal to R2 plus RB, which is equal to three plus three, which is equal to six ohms, that works great. Now we can delete these ones. You know, or redraw the circuit. It's really up to you how you wanna how you wanna represent the overall topology of it. RC six ohms. Okay, so now here's that sort of pi topology again, um, and we have six ohms and twelve ohms. So we're gonna say RD is equal to RC in parallel with RA, which is equal to six ohms in parallel with twelve ohms. Okay, um, or you know the, the more the more basic way of saying this is that it's uh, it is R D times R A 
over rd plus ra. And then that's what's going to create this. We're going to get 72 over 18. 72 over 18, 36 twice. That should be 4. Let's look at that again. 36. Yep, this should be 4 ohms. And that's our D. We can now get rid of these ones. You know, I can now call this something else. I can keep that symbolic expression. Our D, and that is 4 ohms. Okay, and then now the remaining REQ, or RE, whichever, 2 ohms plus 4 ohms, <clears throat> you know, R1 plus RD, which is equal to 2 plus 4, which equals to 6 ohms. And that's the result. So we're going to go into our simulation now. There we go. <clears throat> 2, 4, 3, 6 and 6 and 8. Now I have a 10 volt source here. So uh, what I am going to see is a current that goes through all of this and then comes back in the return line. And the ratio of the voltage and current uh, is going to provide the resistance value. So this is what I got to do. I run my simulation here. And then I start looking at the DC indication characteristics. Here's my current, right? 1.667 uh, amps of current going through and 10 volts. So 10 volts divided by 1.667. 10 divided by 1.667 is about 6, right? 6 ohms. And that's what we had. We had 6 ohms there. 